If it's Boeing, I'm not going. That phrase has stuck for years because it sums up three very real frustrations people face when flying short haul. Shaky trust and reliability. Schedules ruined by long maintenance holds. And the constant loud turboprop noise that kills early morning or late night flights before they even happen. Now imagine replacing all of that with a vertical takeoff. No runway needed. Just a straight lift into the sky. That's the backdrop for Elon Musk's 2026 Tesla Super Electric plane. And when Musk himself says the exciting thing to do is some sort of electric vertical takeoff and landing supersonic, you know this is more than just a thought experiment. Tesla is positioning this aircraft as the true game changer that directly tackles those exact issues while fueling the end of the, if it's Boeing, I'm not going sentiment in short haul. And here's the crazy part, it actually looks practical. A cabin with 4 to 12 seats designed for community routes up to 500 miles. 15-minute turnarounds made possible through modular batteries, so planes spend their time flying, not waiting. Quiet electric motors that open back up those early and late slots at local airports. And far fewer moving parts that bring factory-level consistency instead of endless hangar drama. And right now, before we dive deeper into how this could actually flip short-haul flying on its head, make sure you hit subscribe to Danny Nova. We're pushing hard to reach 1,000 subscribers, and every one of you who joins makes this channel stronger. If you love straight, useful coverage like this that doesn't waste your time, turn on the bell too, you don't want to miss what's coming next. So how exactly can Tesla's super electric plane improve short-haul flying for everyday travelers? Let's start with the space you actually touch, the cabin. A compact design built around either 1-to-1 one -one or 2-to-1 seating keeps the aisle in the 18-to-20 inch range. That means people can finally move without constantly bumping elbows. Boarding gets easier too. A large low door, paired with a low step height, makes entry a one-handed task, not a workout. That same opening, roughly 50 by 50 inches, swallows common cargo tubs and even medical stretchers that run 22 to 24 inches wide. That design choice makes it possible to flip the airplane from carrying passengers to cargo or EMS missions without needing special tools. Quick-release seat rails make the swap practical in just minutes. Durability and ease of inspection are also baked into the design. Short-haul aircraft rack up cycles fast, so fatigue and corrosion are the true enemies. Tesla's approach mixes corrosion-resistant aluminum for the main structure with composite panels for the fairings. That helps keep weight and cracking under control. High-stress areas get doubler plates, seams are placed where mechanics can actually see them, and every recurring inspection point is reachable without stripping the interior. Seats and restraint anchors meet dynamic crash standards rather than just pull tests. In plain English, that means the cabin is proven to protect your head and hips even in a rough landing. The target lifespan? Tens of thousands of flight hours before any heavy structural work is needed. Step outside, and the shape of the plane starts doing noise reduction before a single motor even spins. Clean wings with smooth leading edges and modern wingtip treatments cut induced drag which helps the range within a fixed battery budget and softens the pressure pulses people hear on approach. Enclosed and well-fared landing gear eliminate the whistling and rumble that define most turboprop arrivals. Even the propellers are carefully sized to keep tip speed below high subsonic thresholds, which avoids those sharp, high-frequency tones that carry far into neighborhoods. Combine those choices with quiet electric motors, and suddenly community airports gain new life. Early morning and late evening slots that were once impossible for noisy aircraft now become possible, directly improving schedule reliability. But Tesla's real genius is under the skin. The layout follows one simple rule, make it serviceable first. High-use components sit behind dedicated access panels instead of being buried under trim. Inverters, motor controllers, battery management electronics, the environmental pack and key avionics are all treated as line-replaceable units with keyed, color-coded connectors. A two-person ground crew can remove and replace a box in just 5 to 10 minutes with standard tools. Panels open without pulling out seats. Fasteners are standardized across the airframe. And every module carries a QR code that ties directly to digital manuals and its parts history. Even the battery modules follow this logic. They're guided, latched, and safety interlocked so a full energy swap can happen cleanly inside that fixed 15-minute turnaround window. So here's my first big question for you. Do you think Tesla's super electric plane would actually make your short-haul travel easier, quieter, and cheaper? If your answer is yes, drop a Tesla e-plane down in the comments. Now let's talk schedules because this is where Tesla wants to flip the short-haul game completely. Right now, regional flights often crumble because of messy turnarounds. The Tesla plane changes that by locking two numbers into place, 
a guaranteed 15-minute turn and a practical reach of up to 500 miles. That means ramp minutes transform into actual flight minutes. Let's break that down. A fixed 15-minute turnaround includes park, unload, reload, swap preconditioned batteries, run automated checks, and push back all inside a quarter of an hour. With just 4 to 12 passengers, deplaning and boarding take about 2 to 3 minutes each. Bags are handled in parallel. The battery swap takes 6 to 8 minutes. And the final checks use the last couple of minutes. That's tighter than the 25 to 35 minute turns common to small regional turboprops. Which means every cycle adds slack instead of stress. Second, the number of legs per day goes up. On sectors at or below 250 miles, a flight leg plus taxi plus a 15 minute ground window fits neatly into about 60 to 90 minutes. That means a single Tesla plane can credibly fly 10 to 16 legs in one long day. Stretch the stage length out to 250 to 500 miles and cruise time grows, but that same ground routine still supports 6 to 10 legs depending on speed and weather. The big difference is consistency, the short ground rule repeats without surprises. That keeps the timetable from unraveling, and that's something passengers actually notice. Third, travelers themselves feel real door-to-door -door gains. Right now, many regional drives take 3 to 5 hours once you add in traffic and stops. A local airport hop up to 500 miles compresses that to around 1.5 to 2 hours end-to-end, -end, including check-in and transfers. That's because the Tesla plane uses short taxi paths, minimal queues, and the same 15-minute ground rule instead of forcing you through long hub connections. The US already has thousands of underused community airports, so the scheduling improvements can land directly where people live. And fourth, noise, or more specifically, the lack of it. Quiet electric motors and cleaner aerodynamics unlock more legal hours in the day. That means airports can finally approve early morning and late evening slots. More permitted hours equals more flights placed exactly when people want them. That directly improves on-time performance while lifting daily utilization. Now, let me ask you this. Do you see Tesla's super electric plane as the superior short-haul option compared with other aircraft, thanks to its fully electric design? It's 15-minute turnarounds and that up to 500-mile range? If you do, comment Tesla wins below. But schedules are just one piece. Let's look at how Tesla cuts operating costs on short-haul routes. It starts with the motors. Direct-drive electric units eliminate gearboxes. That means far fewer moving parts, calmer vibrations, and much simpler inspections. In cruise, modern motors and inverters routinely run at 90-95% to 95 efficiency, so most of the energy actually becomes thrust instead of heat. And because there are two to four independent motors, a single unit shutdown doesn't end the flight. Small glitches no longer wreck an entire day schedule. Energy is where the real story unfolds. The battery system is modular, built as manageable blocks rather than one giant slab. At a practical target of 360 watt-hours per kilogram, the total system delivers about 600 to 900 kilowatt hours of usable capacity. That translates to a weight of roughly 1.7 to 2.8 metric tons, the energy equivalent of 6 to 9 long range electric cars. Cooling keeps the cells in their sweet spot, 15 to 35 degrees Celsius, and the battery management system limits charge stress, which means a cycle life of 1500 to 2000 uses. In plain English, the pack stays healthy for years of daily service while still delivering predictable range. On the ground, the swap system locks everything into place. Cruise guide, latch, and interlock fresh modules in just 6 to 8 minutes, then spend 3 to 4 minutes on automated checks and a quick walk around. That makes a true 15-minute turnaround. During overnight sits, High-power DC charging at 600 to 1000 kilowatts can refill a 600 kWh pack in 36 to 60 minutes. Swapping during the day keeps planes in the air when passengers need them, and charging at night restores energy when time is cheap. Fault handling is also key. Dual inverters feed split DC buses. Protections react in milliseconds, isolating any issue to a single branch. High-use boxes like inverters, controllers, and BMS racks all sit behind access panels. A two-person team can swap one in five to ten minutes. Small problems stay small instead of turning into canceled flights. Now let's talk money. A clean 4- to 12-seat airframe typically needs about 200 to 300 kilowatts in cruise. That's 2 to 300 kilowatt-hour per hour of flight. 
At electricity prices between 12 and 18 cents per kilowatt hour, direct energy costs run about $24 to $54 per flight hour. Compare that to a typical turboprop that burns 50 to 70 gallons of jet A per hour. At $4.50 a gallon, that's $225 to $315 per flight hour just in fuel, before you even add oil or hot section work. Even after factoring in battery depreciation and routine checks, an operating target of 15 to 25% lower total hourly cost within 12 to 24 months of steady service looks realistic. So here's the mid-video reminder. If you're enjoying this breakdown and want more deep dives into Tesla's future tech, make sure you subscribe to Danny Nova. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers and your support means the world. Drop a like too, it really helps push this story out to more people. Now, how does the Tesla plane unlock a true short-haul shift away from legacy aircraft? It starts with routes where demand is high but service is weak, community-to-city corridors up to 500 miles. With a 4-12-seat to 12 seat cabin, quick boarding, and the fixed 15-minute turnaround, one aircraft can realistically fly 10 to 16 legs per day on shorter routes, and 6 to 10 legs per day on the longer ones. For travelers, that means car trips that currently take 4 to 9 hours compressed down to 1.5 to 4 hours door to door. After the commuter rush, the same plane can pivot to cargo or EMS. Reliability stays high because multiple independent motors and real time health monitoring isolate faults fast, while line replaceable units can be swapped in minutes. All electric ground ops fit quiet hours with shore power for avionics, lights, or even medical fridges. Industrial and agricultural missions also become natural fits. Wind farms, mines, solar arrays, and large farms often sit far from big hubs but close to short strips. A dependable 500-mile reach makes it possible to stage technicians and parts directly to site and back within the day. That keeps utilization high, costs predictable and tickets affordable. Now let's bring it back to economics. On a 500-mile leg, a 10-seat Tesla plane flying at 85% load carries about 9 paying passengers. Cruise time is about 2.5 hours at 200 miles per hour. Energy use is around 650 kilowatt hour. At a night electricity rate of 12 cents per kilowatt hour, the bill is $78. Add landing fees of 20 to $40 and maintenance of 35 to $55. Total direct cash cost per flight lands between $133 and $173. That's only $15 to $19 per passenger before crew insurance and capital costs. That math unlocks real ticket pricing flexibility. Airlines could post headline fares of $99 to $139 at peak times and still offer promotional seats at $79 to $89 during off-peak hours, all while maintaining profitability. Combine that with the 15-minute turnaround and suddenly those seats actually get filled. In market terms, once travelers taste fast, quiet, and fairly priced hops, airlines follow the money. Total cost of ownership falls by 25-30% to 30 after 12-24 to 24 months of service. That's why new short-haul capacity naturally tilts toward the electric option. And it's why Boeing risks seeding the very foundation of short-haul to Tesla. So let me ask you, what small airport near you should get the first Tesla Super Electric plane flights? Comment the airport code and your preferred time slot, early morning or late evening, because short haul is about to feel different. 15 minute turns, up to 500 mile hops, quiet electric motors putting smaller towns back on the map. The question is, are you ready to be part of this change? If your answer is yes, make sure you subscribe to Danny Nova right now. Turn on the notification bell so you never miss route reveals, cost breakdowns, or launch checkpoints. And tell me in the comments, what's the first route you want restored, and what's the fare that would make you leave the car? Your answers will directly shape the next episode.